Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here, and you know what? I'm going to do another on-the-fly video for you today. First off, I want to thank everyone who helped me out on my GoFundMe campaign. I was able to close on that house about a week ago, so you know what? I couldn't have done it without you guys. You all rock. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for those who are interested and want to, you know, check out the house. It's really not, you know, for this page because this is all about electric cars and whatnot, but for those who are interested, check the uh, description below and I'll have a link there for you. I'll also put a link to the uh, GoFundMe campaign down in the description and another link for my Patreon account because I do have one of those as well. If anybody wants to continue to donate, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but I did close on the house and again, I greatly appreciate all the help that you guys gave me in order to do that. So getting to the electric car now and my thoughts on it now that I've been driving it for quite some time. You know, this is the electric vehicle that I wanted to get originally before I got my Nissan Leaf. But as many of you know, it just wasn't in the cards for me at the time to uh, go with the Chevrolet Bolt EV. So I ended up getting the Leaf. And you know, I fell in love with the Leaf. It, it just, it turned out to be an excellent car. Uh, it's just, this car obviously has uh, twice the capability of what the Leaf has as far as range is concerned. Uh, one of the things that I, I actually miss on the Leaf, and some of you might think that I'm crazy for this, is the charging port. Uh, the Bolt here uses what's called the CCS uh, port for quick charging, which is the uh, combined charging system. I think that's what that stands for. And on the Leaf, they use what's called a uh, Chatamo hookup, at least I think that's what that's how you pronounce it. And it's a separate plug. So the Leaf has two ports, one side by side, and the Bolt has just this one. Now, it's no big deal because they more or less do the same thing, except on the, the Chatamo plug, it's bi-directional. And <laughs> I just lost power the other day for the first time, like I've been in the city here for eight years and now I move up north and in, a fir in the first week we lose power. And not just for like five minutes or 10 minutes, but for three hours the power was out. So that just got me thinking like how great it would be. And it's, you know, I don't think it's, it's not implemented yet here in the United States, but it is in uh, other countries and it's called the V2H or vehicle to grid system. So it's an additional device that you can have hooked up at your house and at least with the Leaf or the Mitsubishi's or any of the other cars that use the uh, Chatamo style hookup, you can actually back feed from your vehicle back into your house and you can power up your house from your electric car. That is a dream of mine that I, I want to see happen someday. And as it stands right now, it doesn't look like it's possible, at least with the Chevrolet Bolt here. But uh, I, I have heard that there's going to be uh, new styles of this, uh, like a version 2 or a version 3 of the CCS plug. And when that happens, then maybe, yes, you'll be able to do vehicle to grid. But as it stands right now, the Nissan Leaf is already capable of doing that. But again, we need to have that implemented in the States. In other countries, you can do that, but not yet in the States. So other than that, both cars have been excellent. I, I absolutely love both the Leaf and the Bolt here. But one of the things that the Leaf had over the Bolt is definitely the seats. And you've probably heard me comment on this once before, but I'm going to get into a little bit more details here. I suffer from uh, some back pains right now, uh, sciatica. And <laughs> one of the things that I just absolutely miss about the Leaf is the comfort of the seats. But I've been able to fix that here with the Bolt. And if anyone else, uh, you know, I, I know there's a lot of people online that complain about the seats. And I try not to complain too much, but if you check this out over here, I got a solution. I put this seat cushion down here from the uh, Purple Company. And it's uh, th this has done wonders. This is the uh, Purple Royale. And there's not much to it. There's like, I don't know, like, an inch or two and it's it's really comfortable so and you can just take that out and you've got the original seat there so <laughs> go ahead and put that cushion in there just like that and it's uh it, it makes a world of difference and where i'm driving a lot now in this car uh you know 35 miles one way each day that that has helped out uh greatly so if anybody else is having problems uh sitting in the seats or they, they don't like the comfort of the seats 
go out and get yourself a uh, purple Royale uh, seat cushion and it's like a perfect fit in the vehicle and it, it's done wonders for me. So again, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and you know, thank you so much for everyone who helped me out on the uh, GoFundMe campaign and for all the kind words said on my YouTube page as well. You guys have really come through and I can't thank you enough. So again, I, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I'm slowly getting back on my feet here, so I hope to have uh, more videos come out uh, a little bit more frequently. I am unpacking, though, right now, so that, that could hold me up a little bit. But, uh, no, I plan on doing some more videos and, you know, maybe another road trip video here soon. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, things are looking better. Uh, things are looking up. And, again, I just I can't thank you guys enough for all the uh, support that you've given me. So, I really appreciate it. And... You know, stay tuned, and I look forward to pumping out some more videos as soon as I can.